the biofertilizer that has been mostly used by farmers and that has been awarded the best by Indian Agricultural Ministry, Vriksha Mitra. These days, many farmers in the race to achieve high yields are dumping the chemical fertilizers on the face of Mother Earth. Result is poor soil fertility, loss of essential nutrient package required by the crop, leading to low tolerant levels, ultimately resulting in poor yields. To avoid this devastation to our soil and crop and to enhance the fertility and productivity along with the quality of the crop and to enhance the effectiveness of the applied chemical fertilizers, use Vrikshamitra Biofertilizer. This is a bacterial culture from Bacillus circulans containing 10 crore cells per gram. These bacteria activate the available form of the nutrient required by the plant in the right quantities and at right stages throughout the plant life cycle, thus ensuring the healthy growth of the plant. This is capable of bringing the unavailable forms of nutrients such as phosphorus and potash, iron, molybdenum, manganese, etc. into the available form to the plant. Application of minimum dosage of fertilizers. In the present scenario, when compared to other biofertilizers available in the market, Vrikshamitra can be stored for 12 months period and still can be viable even at 45 degree temperature. By using Vrikshamitra, we can improve tillering, stalk size and firmness, flowering and grains with good weight, color and texture, thus ensuring good yield with a pleasant taste and flavor, bringing the waste grain percentage to negligible and increased grain storage period. Vrikshamitra helps the plant to encounter hostile climatic conditions like fog and poor rainfall by regulating the closure and opening of the stomatal cells of the leaf, thus conserving water. There is a noticeable decrease of the number of irrigations, achieving high production at low input cost. It regulates the plant hormones, ensuring the effective and proper growth, improvises the cell structure, resulting in firm stalks with no drooping. All these plants have a strong root system which can penetrate to deeper levels, resulting in better nutrient absorption, ultimately achieving a robust and vigor status, tolerant to the diseases. Secondary roots are the primary areas of habitation of the Vrikshamitra bacteria. So, care should be taken to apply the biofertilizer in this zone. Apply Vrikshamitra in raw method particularly near the root zone to avoid the wastage. Soon after application in the rain-fed areas, give a small irrigation dosage to activate the bacteria or apply it when there is requisite moisture in the soil. In zinc-deficient soils, corrective measures should be taken first and then apply the biofertilizer. For every kilo of biofertilizer, 10 to 12 kilos of sand or soil or farmyard manure or superphosphate or potash should be used and applied. There is no restriction of application of this biofertilizer along with pesticides or any other chemical fertilizer. Vrikshamitra should be applied at primary tillage, cultivation and at the time of flowering or grain forming stage or any other stage of the plant growth. But caution should be taken not to spray Vrikshamitra on the plants. For good results, soak the roots of the saplings for at least 30 minutes in case of wetland paddy and mix the seeds with the Vrikshamitra before sowing to get healthy and robust plants from the very primary stage to ensure good yields. By using Vrikshamitra, farmer can reduce the application of chemical fertilizers by 25 to 40 percent and increase of yield by 15 to 40 percent depending upon the crop, ultimately reducing the input and increasing the output in the situation where farming is in loss.